I am Dylan Murray. My father is David Murray. He used to be a Porsche factory driver, and I'm 20 years old. I started out in go karts and just kind of moving in through uh, through the ranks. Did the NASCAR route a little bit, and then uh, back in 2018 was my first year in IMSA. I did the uh, the IMSA Continental Tire Challenge with BGB Motorsports and a Porsche GT4 back then. And uh, since then, now I'm back here with BGB Motorsports in the Carrera Cup North America this year. And I'm really excited to see what this series holds. New car is absolutely amazing. So uh, it's been an experience to try it out and uh, go and race it for the first time tomorrow. So a lot of people say, that, oh, something's in my blood. You know, it's always something I was born to do. But racing's not really that for me. I feel like it's more, it's engraved in my bones. So it's even deeper than that. It's something, I remember going to my dad's races when I was a little kid and I'd be sitting on top of my mom's shoulders before I could even really walk, watching my dad go by, so I always just grew up around it. Never did I think I would m try to make a career out of it when I was that young, um, but uh, as the years passed, I started, I was like, hey dad, I wanna go get a go-kart, something like that. So he's like, okay, so we go to watch one of my friends that was doing some racing in Barnes Barnesville, Georgia, and that was in a go-kart, and I remember watching a night race there one year, and all these carts had the neon lights and stuff on them at night. And I got to the point where I was watching and I just couldn't stand watching because I wanted to be out there so bad. So after you know an hour of, of not being able to watch because I wanted to be out there, go back home, I asked my parents, I'm like, can I please get a go-kart? You gotta let me get a go-kart. And so after that, my dad was like, okay, I'll make you a deal. You gotta do six months of chores no pay, no benefits, no anything. Just whatever I ask, you gotta do it. And then he, and he said, maybe we'll think about getting you a go-kart. And I'm like, you got a deal. If that's a maybe, I'm gonna do it. So after six months of doing chores, doing anything you ask, no pay, no anything, I finally got a go-kart, and I raced it first for the first time. After that, never turned back, and my passion's only grown stronger since. So especially with my dad's history with Porsche, with how long he's been racing for Porsche and just growing up, I always remember him being in the Synergy cars back in 2005 and 2006. I just always remember that because that's, that's where I grew up watching him and just how much history he has here. It feels like home to be in Porsche. It's, it's a family here and I just love the whole, the whole atmosphere, the whole community. Um, all the driving styles of the, of the drivers that they choose, I really envy that. And their mentality going into races and race weekends uh, is just something that's, that's unlike many, many other manufacturers. And it's, it's really special to be with Porsche. This year, I'm not really one that says like, okay, let's go out and win this race. Or let's go out and win this championship. I'm more of the kind of person that says, let's go out and dominate this and let's set new records. So for me, a podium is definitely not good enough. Winning is good, but it's still not good enough. I'm, I, I love uh, setting new records and making history. So going into the future, I carry that with me in the future too. Not only do I want to race at Le Mans, or not only do I want to drive for a factory or, or Porsche or, or what, I want to set new records and, have, and be known for setting records, setting the bar and, and making history. So that's, that's more of me. Like I just want to go out there and just do something nobody's done before. So I'm always, always trying to get something better.